for your big heels literally literally 25k to 60k heels if it crits I'm here for the chance of a Mazarine. Today's video is gonna I'm gonna be talking this breaking pretty much doing a verse battle between Holy Priest and this priest and talk about which healer I think is better for specific PvP content like RBG arenas, etc. And just break down the three categories I'm gonna be using are healing and mana, damage, defenses, and utility. I'm gonna break down which ones I think are better in each respective category and give my overall consensus of who I think is better overall. So if you do enjoy this video, consider subscribing. It'll help me immensely. Like if you enjoy it, so comment down below your opinion and feedback. According to YouTube analytics, a lot of you guys watching videos aren't subscribed. So if you're not subscribed, consider subscribing. It'll help me immensely. So first, let's talk about healing and mana. In terms of healing, I'm gonna say that I'm, I'm overall from what I tested, what I've seen, the Holy Priest has better burst healing, but the Dis Priest has better consistency healing. Though with the nurse to radiance and stuff, the burst healing, the insta cast big heals have gone down for the dish priest. But for the holy priest, it's just been it's gonna get better as gear goes up. So for example, when I just when I do a uh serenity on myself, it heals for 16k. If that crits, that's gonna be 32k. When I put guardian on myself, for example, and after I go for a serenity, it heals me for 27k. If that crit, that would almost be a 60k heal. So the single target healing for the Holy Priest is insane. If with, you can literally heal your team from your teammate from zero to full in some cases. You can't do that with this because of the nurse to radiance. This and Holy used to have very similar burst, but with the nurse, the literally 100 nerf to radiance, it's not that it's non-existent now. This does have better consistency to of atonement because with damage going up for discs and atonement healing going up, you're able to spread your healing across your team a lot more and get a lot of consistent healing through your damage. This is why for arena with the burst meta and how health bars go up and down really fast, the holy priest is better. But for RBG content with more teammates, group fights, the disc is better because you can spread your atonement across team your teammates and heal them all with consistently through atonement. Or if you need to get big AoE heals off, you do have Radiance as an option. While for Holy, you don't really have that option at all. For mana, this priest mana has gone up specifically. This priest mana before, like 9.0.5 and 9.0, was trash. It was horrible. But with the addition of Inner Light which is a new honor talent for the Dish Priest, it has gone up significantly. With this talent itself, I've seen major differences with, he with mana for the Dish Priest. It feels like I have like Holy Priest mana. It's so good, especially with combination with Soulless. When you take when you take Powered Soulless and you have your Shadow Fiend, you really don't run out of mana that much, especially with Radiance being that much weaker. The problem is that the Dish Priest had to rely on Radiance in 9.05, and by relying on Radiance, it costed a lot of mana. It would burn your mana really fast. But now with Inner Light reducing that mana cost and Radiance not being as powerful and atonement being stronger your reliance on radiance isn't that isn't that much of a dependency so you know you're using radiance less using your other heals more which is going to result in you not burning your mana like you used to and you have a lot of ways to generate mana back holy mana is all got better as well with symbol of hope and also symbol of hope restoring 18 percent of your mana back holy mana has only gotten better i would say their, their mana is around the same i'd probably give the edge to holy because holy just has more efficient heals because you still have to rely on radiance as a dis priest and which is still going to cost a bit of mana as and you and as a dish priest if you're not if you're not in inner light your your mana is just going to revert back to the way it was before so your mana is only as efficient as if you're running inner light and you're always switching between inner light and inner darkness which means that your mana is going to be is not always going to be very good it's going to go up and down depending on what stance you're in inner light or inner shadow so i'm going to give the edge to holy but their their mana is around the same it's not like it's a big difference like it was before. It's around the same. It really is going to depend on your playstyle as well because the Dish Priest does use the Power Shield and Power Shield does cost a fair bit of mana while Holy doesn't really rely on that move that much which results in them even losing less mana. For damage, damage is very interesting. In my last, the last time I did a video like this, I did say Disc has better, has better damage and I'm still going to say Disc has better damage. I will say that... Holy has better burst, and I'm gonna explain the reason for this. Holy has this very strong combo, which is like a mind games, holy fire, shower, death. And for whatever reason in holy, your mind games does an extra like 2,800 damage, while in disc it only does 7,000. So your mind games is stronger in holy. But, so like baseline, holy can do a more, more burst than disc. But if disc runs schism, mind games, then it's very close. It's very clearly very close because Shizm makes up that difference of that mind games damage reduction that the disc that discipline has a holy does it. 
But this gets more consistent because you have Solus, you have Ma you have Mind Blast, you have Smite, you have Powered Solus. You have a lot more damage moves, and your your healing is intertwined with your damage. You need to, you do damage to heal, while in Holy you don't necessarily have to do that. So because of that, your consistency is gonna be a lot higher than Holy. But I, I have noticed that Holy has a lot more burst just because well, you have a lot of empowerment moves such as Sins of the Many. Sins of the Many is not nerfed in PvP anymore, so now your damage is increased by 12%. Holy doesn't have that. So your base damage is already higher than Holy. As well, you have Dark Atonement, which can make your damage go up by 50% for you and your teammates as well. So that can increase your damage as well that Holy doesn't have. For defense, is Holy has the best. Holy has the best solo defense, which is Greater Fade, and pre and Disc has the best team wide defense, which I would consider Rapture. Greater Fade is one of the most broken moves in the game. You literally become invincible. It, the cooldown is short. It's, it's ridiculous. Very insane cooldown that can save you on so many occasions. Rapture is very strong as well. Probably one of the best defensive cooldowns in the game for yourself and your teammates. Because you can literally spam massive shields on yourself that are literally worth 13k. And this is reapplyable. So you can reapply this on your whole team. So pretty much during Rapture, your team should not take any type of damage. Because it's a reapplyable massive shield. Guardian Spirit, I would say like for Guardian, I think Guardian Spirit, Guardian Spirit and like, and Pain Suppression are like similar because they can be, they can both be used under stun. They're like respectives of each other. I would say that Guardian Spirit's better than Pain Suppression. The reason why I say this is because Guardian Spirit can actually save you from dying. The Dish Priest is very good at preventing damage, mitigating damage, but they're not so big on healing. So their, their cooldowns are going to be better because they're mitigating a lot of damage. But I would say that Guardian is better. One, because it can have... A, you can... If done right, Guardian can be used three times within three within one pain suppression. Pain suppression is a three minute cooldown. Guardian has a three minute cooldown. But if they're, if they're, if when you use it on someone and they don't die, it becomes a one minute cooldown. So realistically, you can get more Guardians off if done properly than pain suppressions. And it also saves your teammate. And when I have Guardian myself, my Serenity is healed for insane amounts. It also buffs my healing as well. So it's also a big healing buff that this doesn't really have. This has a bunch of major defenses. What this does have is Powered Barrier. Holy has nothing like this. This, if talented, if aren't on as well, it reduces damage by 50%. This is massive. If you have this on someone, they're gonna be taking half the damage. This is gonna be very useful in the burst meta. But also, this is, this cooldowns are very useful in RBG settings. Having a Power Bear on like a flag map is very powerful when you're in a team fight. Team fights, Power Bear is very strong. Rapture is very strong in team fights. Pain suppression is good when you're with a flag carrier. You need them to take reduce damage. While when it comes to holy, you don't really have those wide, those like group wide defenses. Guardians a solo defensive. Apotheosis is pretty much it's pretty much a solo move. Guardians a solo move. You do have divine him, but it's not that strong at all. So a lot of holy's defenses are single target. While for this, they're a lot more team oriented. As well, one thing I didn't mention is that apotheosis is insane. It's a very strong, this has nothing like that. This is a very strong healing cooldown that makes you heal for insane amounts because you're able to get these holy words, surroundings off extremely fast. You can just heal, you can spam them literally if you have the right procs and it's insanity. So in this, when you have a poppy also on your shelf, you're practically invincible if the right things occur and you're having these surroundings. So very powerful. Utility, utility is interesting. I would say that for utility, the holy priest, has better utility and i'm gonna explain this just for like just because they have very similar utility in terms of dispel master spell and like feathers but in turn honor talents and stuff this really has limited options when it comes to holy you have holy word which is very good utility you can really prevent crowd control you have sanctuary ground which is pretty much or master you if you use this and you do this you're immune to silence and interrupts this is extremely powerful this is nothing like this greater heal is also another unique another unique move that can bypass moral strikes very good mobility utility here you can even spec into more defense to spirit redeemer rare hopes also a very good utility that you can use on yourself or your teammates to literally delay damage and increase your healing by 50 percent so very very powerful well, when it comes to disc, you have good utility. You have Dark Atonement, which can buff your yourself and your teammates damage. But other than that, that's pretty much all you have. You really don't have anything else that is very unique or like buffing that Holy does not have. So because of that, I'm going to give the utility advantage to Holy. My overall consensus is that 
Holy is better for Arena because one, you have a lot of single target burst healing. So when someone, when in Arena games, when, you're, when your teammate or yourself is targeted, you can bring them back to life very fast. You have moves to save them from dying. You have very big heals, literally, literally 25k to 60k heals if it crits. And you have very good defenses to save yourself and also save your teammates. Well, Disc has that, but also Disc is, because of the nerf to Radiance, Disc lasts that big insta-cast healing. Radiance is still very strong, but it's... It's only if you take certain stuff. It's strong when you have ultimate radiance, when you have shining radiance, the conduit. That's when it comes strong. With LTs, radiance would literally be trash. But even with all those buffs, radiance is still not comparable to Serendi at all. While Holy has Symbol of Hope. Symbol of Hope is also very good because they added a new element to it where it can reduce a major defensive of yourself and your teammates by 60 seconds. This can literally save you in arena games. That would also be very powerful in RBGs as well, but... This is just a lot more built for RBGs. So I would say that for arena content, Holy is the better healer. And for more RBG content, more team oriented, bigger team, bigger team fights, etc., this would be the better option. But that's the video. That's the comparison. Hope you guys do enjoy the video. Consider subscribing to tell me immensely. Also, like and also comment down below. And I'll see you guys later. Peace.